Chris Chioza on the baseline. There is Gray, and he's denied by Michael Foster. Gray spins, slipped out of his hands, and nearly banked in. Long Island allows 45.1%, which is the lowest field goal percentage defense in the G. On the bounce to Gray, good hands by Foster. I do what I can do when I can do it, and I'll just say I wear a lot of hats. Duke crossing over, he lost it to Lewis King. Racing the other way in a crafty finish. This was Trey McGowans who was off balance. Key throws to Smith in transition to throw down. Lewis King, a pocket pass to Foster, who collects and throws it down with authority by AT&T 5G. Well, David, let's call it dunks of the game. Michael Foster, not just once, but twice attacking the rim with reckless abandon off of a number of great at the basket that would have made it much closer. McClung on the pull-up, and one. Well, and Mac McClung uses it to his benefit, attacking the basket. Does a great job recognizing. Leading scorers in this game. Top three for Delaware and the top two for Long Island. Long Island's defense creating some havoc as Keyes tries to drive in. McClung picks it up, clutch basket. Seven to shoot, Springer spinning, muscles his way in, and Springer has a chance for three. To stop him from attacking the rim, this time does a great job protecting the basketball. The swipe down by Chioza, but Jaden Springer just too strong.